Hey guys, welcome back to 365 Days of SEO. This is Christian Bullock. Today we're talking about a frequently asked question about SEO, and that is, does it matter what hosting company you use? So there's two real answers to this. The first one hinges on whether or not you have international websites. So what I mean by international websites is you have a presence in maybe the UK or Australia, or maybe even Canada. If you do, and you have a separate website for that, it does make sense to have hosting located in the company of which your website is trying to go after in terms of your audience. So, um, for instance, if you have a website um, uh, for services or products in the UK, then it makes sense to have your domain, which is um, hopefully... <laughs> Uh, .co.uk domain um, be hosted on a hosting company that's actually located in the UK. But aside from that, you know, these international um, questions, if you don't have any sort of in that international anything, or maybe all of your international global content is located on your main.com website, so it's all kind of housed you know, under one website or one domain, then really the biggest thing you're looking for for a hosting company is uptime. You want to make sure that you have a website that is up as <laughs> often as possible. It's really hard to ensure 100% uptime, um, but you know you'll see hosting companies say things like you know 99.9% .9 uptime, etc. Um, really, you should be asking friends and colleagues about what hosting companies they use, and see what they're using. See if they've got good experiences. If if they've experienced any downtime their websites, etc. So the reason why uptime is so important for SEO is, let's just say, um, for whatever reason, your website's down because the, there's a hosting issue, right? And the servers are wonky. Um, if your website's down for a couple of days, it'll actually reflect that in the search engine results page. Um, so much so that when Google or Yahoo or Bing crawl your website, and they're like, hey, there's just no website here. They kind of chalk that up as an anomaly, right? But if they come back to it a couple times, they're seeing the same thing. You know, if your your hosting company is still down for maybe a couple of days, that's when things start getting a little bit wonky on the search engine result page when they start actually showing like an error message for your listing, which is no bueno, right? That's no good at all. Um, so that's why uptime is so important when it comes to choosing a hosting company. But my recommendation really is ask them, ask your friends, ask your colleagues, see what they're using, and really kind of go after what they're using. It's really hard to find a host that's you know really poor. Um, but that being said, there are a lot of hosts that do pretty good work. So again, my name is Christian Bullock, 365 days of SEO.com. See you guys tomorrow.